In part two of our home exhaust fan project, Joe is going to show us how to build an attic frame for our exhaust fan. He uses a Makita 18 volt cordless compact drill driver and the cordless 18 volt LXT reciprocating saw that we showed you in the part one video. We're going to install this uh, exhaust fan. As you can see down there, we've got a mark. We've got to put some two by fours in there to reinforce it so it'll support the fan. We've got also pre-cut already. Fit right down in there. Okay, we're going to use our Makita drill dri driver. Got a chuck in. Easily a chain changeable from screw to drill. Put whatever you want to put in there. I want to pre drill these first so it'll make it a little easier and get in there because of the situation. I've got the work, but you can see that. These lights really come in handy on a job like this. If you got variable speed, you got a small compact unit. With 18 volts, you got power to spare. Variable speed, how about that, huh? And power. Wowie. After pre-drilling, Joe is driving 3-inch screws to anchor both the 2x4s. Oh, we got that side. When finished, the 2x4s are fastened to the attic truss in all four corners. Next, Joe will mark out the area beneath the frame in the kitchen ceiling. He will then cut that out with the cordless reciprocating saw. And with these tools, as delicate and precise as they are, you can feel when you hit another board. Okay, right now we're going to go back up there, install the fan, screw it down, anchor it. We're going to connect the wires, and then we'll start on the ductwork. 